my first time to play soccer, I think it was when I was five years old. My dad was kind of like a coach. And then uh, after they uh, joined local clubs uh, in Dagoretti, played for Egan. And then I, when I finished my high school, I went to St. Anthony's Boys in Kitale. And after there, I did two years there and then joined, uh, got like a scholarship to go to the US. And that's where my soccer journey started, my football journey. It was kind of like a trial, but I, I was invited, but I didn't know what was going on. I just kind of found myself on the trial and I thought it was like the other trials where you go, do the trials and then nothing happens. But I guess I was lucky that time we got, I got chosen by Mike Potempa. He's one of the biggest scouts in the US. Uh, it was kind of like a school scholarship. So it was not like a soccer scholarship. It was a school scholarship uh, contract. Uh, I did three years, two years in the high school. And after that, that's, that's when I joined Clemson University. I say um, for the first time when I was there, it was kind of challenging because I was young, I didn't know anybody, and it was my first time there. So I'll say it was kind of challenging, but I grew up in a, um, I'll say like, in a challenging uh, situation life. So I kind of coped with it, like, it didn't affect me that much. So I'll say like, it was a challenging experience, but at the same time, it was a dream come true. I say like, first when I got a call, I, I was surprised, like, because I was in the USL, I didn't, I didn't think like I was gonna get a call from the USL team, but when, I, when they called me, first of all, it's my principal, uh, Mr. Cosmos Nabungolo called me, and he was like, uh, there's someone who wants to talk, you, to talk to you from the national team, and you've been selected, so whenever they give you a call, just talk to them and let them know what you feel. So like me getting that call, it was like, it was, it was a huge moment to me and my family, because everybody wanna play for the national team, especially the senior team and World Cup, World Cup qualifiers. That's the biggest stage you wanna be, yeah. Um, I, I say it's a national team, everybody. We all play different and everybody has his own qualities. I say the quality is good and it's been two days. Uh, I still, I'm still learning from people, still trying to understand every player. So, I can't comment right now, but at the moment I think we're in a good track. Yeah, being called here, that means I have the quality, so. I think competition is everywhere, you know, like, you have to compete, you have to do, like, every day, you have, it's like you guys working, you have to compete with another team, you have to compete with another colleague. So I can't just be here and be like, oh, I play for the MLS team, this guy plays in Kenya, so that doesn't make sense. I think I have the quality and I think the competition is so high and that pushes players to go even more harder. So yeah, I think I have the quality to start. Uh, I think getting my first cup, which is, some like which is every which is something that every player wants to get playing for the national team. I think after that, then I'll, I'll be ready to face other challenges. But first, of, like but right now, I'm still focusing on my first cup, and it depends how I'm, I'll play my first cup. That's what that what matters the most because if I don't perform, then I'm not gonna get another chance. But if I perform, then I get another another chance to play for my country. And like other players, I want to play the World Cup too. And this is a good chance. This is a good time to take the, take the team to the World Cup. Uh, when I was growing up, I liked Santi Cazorla. Uh, I think he was 
it was a good player. It was like a utility player. But right now, I think I look most, uh, mostly, uh, I get encouraged by my family because my dad, uh, my dad used to be, used to work twice, you know. He'll go, uh, they call it Mjenga. He'll go Mjenga the, during the day, and at night he'll be a watchman. So like him working two, like two jobs a day, and he didn't, he didn't get that much time to see us, kind of pushes me harder because if my dad did it, then I can do it. Like, it's time, to, it's time for me to get him a rest. And the only way I'll get him a rest is by providing for the family. So the more I provide for my family, the more it encourages me and it pushes me harder. Yeah. I think when we were growing up playing football, it was all about passion, you know? Like we were not getting paid. We were not, nobody was like, providing for us, you know? It was like, oh, you have to wake up in the morning. If you don't have to school, you have to go to the field. If you don't want to go to the field, that's your own problem. Nobody's forcing you. It was not like a job. It was all about passion. So like, I had that passion to play soccer because I knew like, I didn't, I didn't take myself to be like the best, but I took myself as someone who want to be somewhere one day. Like, if I don't, if I don't, get a chance to study hard or get a chance from studies then had a chance from playing soccer so i had to try to balance two of the studies and soccer but i kind of like leaned more on soccer because there, there is where i was good at um i had a chance to meet like my friends too i have a few friends who got called to so uh, I'm kind of like still adding some of them whom I've never played with, but I think so far so good. Everything, everything is alright. I can't complain about anything. I can't say anybody's best dress because we're all wearing the same thing. <laughs> so uh, I'll give it to Brad Weir. The fun is, I've been around, uh, I think, uh, I think most of my uh, I'll say Messi, uh, David Owino. Have I seen anybody eat a lot actually? Uh, I'll go that with me, I'll say me. <laughs> is um, Hassan, Hassan Abdallah. Kwa mafansu watu kwa inje, wenye wana support team, tunawaitaji hizi gembili, so tunawaitaji support yenu sana, na as players, atutawa disappoint, na tunaweza. Tunaweza.